Welcome back everyone to another Cobra Kai Season 3 Watch Party. So as everyone is sitting around and waiting for anything concerning Season 3, Cholo decided to take matters into his own hands and release some spoilers. Well, sort of. On a Twitch stream showing off some of his personal behind the scenes pictures, he included one picture from Season 3. This is it right here. This is the photo this is all i'm gonna this is all i'm gonna this is all i'm gonna show well it's not much and that's the key to this whole point how much are we really looking at as cholo said it's a spoiler without context that leaves a broad range of what this could be i know a lot of you wanted me to immediately dive in and unlock all the hidden clues and mysteries but here's the trick i can only unlock the, the hidden clues if they exist in the first place Pretend, for example, it's before Season 2. We know nothing of Season 2, but we are given this shot. You're told this is a spoiler without context for Season 2. Well, what would you think? It's a shoe. No, wait, what's this orange at the bottom? Is it a platform shoe? No, it's too ugly. Ah, it must be a roller skate. That would make sense. But who's holding it? Is that Robbie? No, Robbie wouldn't wear a shirt like this. Daniel? No, his arms don't look like that. I know, it's Cousin Louie. After being fired from the dealership, he gets a job at a roller rink. Bam, pow. Except it's not Cousin Louie. It's a random extra. That's time wasted trying to figure out who the person is. Plus, the roller skate itself didn't say anything. It only makes sense after you've seen the episode. Skating is not actually required for anything in this scene. In theory, it could have happened anywhere else. It would be like if you give someone a treasure map and they start searching and digging for the treasure, and then after a few days you tell them, actually there's no treasure at all. The reason the videos from Ralph's pictures were good is because we knew what we were looking at. We were looking at the title of the episode as well as a list of the characters. That gives us a small but real hint at what's in season 3. It's not everything. It's not even a lot, but it is something and it is meaningful. Plus, there was a sense of fun underneath the whole thing. The idea that Ralph thought he was dutifully stopping spoilers from getting out, while instead he took on the role of Johnny Lawrence and greatly underestimated the internet. Oh, shit. This is why I was hesitant to make a video on this picture. If this picture is nothing more than the Season 3 equivalent of this, then there isn't really much to dig into. Plus, Cholo is a wonderful actor, but he has a lot of work to do on his poker face. If you look closely as he's showing the picture, he reflexively smiles through most all of it. An uncontrolled smile such as this is a classic tell for deception. So while we don't know what the deception is, we have to take this all with a grain of salt. So sure, I have some theories for you on this picture. I will just say up front, I am less sure of these theories than I would normally like to be. Because while Toxico may not actually be the right title, it certainly felt like it could be a title, and it made sense with what we could make out. So when I first saw this picture, I had two immediate reactions to it. One, this is a magazine cover. And two, it looks old. Now I suppose it could be that it was seriously zoomed in or whatever, but I don't think so. It looks like this is an old magazine cover. Now before we try to make something of that, let's look at what else there is. The big word here is imming. Okay, again, my first guess is swimming. That would make sense. Being down by the beach and by the water is essentially a tradition in Karate Kid and Cobra Kai. It doesn't have to be though. It could be trimming. As in trimming the hedges, the show even has a tease of this. Here. You teach karate or gardening? So this could be about Chris or Daniel. That seems odd. Or perhaps something else. Wait a second. Aren't supermodels also known for trimming the hedges? It's a thing women do. Could that somehow relate to Cobra Kai? I would be skeptical except, yeah, look at that smile. They're smiling about something here. Okay, maybe this imming here is something other than a euphemism for a popular method of personal grooming. We can't say for sure, but as Cholo smiles down at us, let's consider the other possibities. So D and off. 
not much to go on. Now this is interesting, Lena. Okay, there's another letter here too. It's pretty clearly an A. As you can see, it's on an angle with the L. So that gives us Alina. Now Alina is a girl's name, but who the heck is that? There's no Alina in the show. So that sucks. We're stuck with a name that doesn't even belong to any character in the Miyagi-verse. Looks like a dud as I was afraid. But then wait a minute. What if there is an Alina in the show? Is it possible this character is right in front of us and we just don't know it? What if we know the character by another name? After all, if Eli can become Hawk and Daniel can become Danny Boy, okay, that's not a good example. Let's try it like this. If Christopher can become Chris, Nathaniel can become Nate, and Samantha can become Sam, then isn't it also possible that Alina can become Allie? Could it be that Alina is actually her full name? The thing is, it wouldn't short to any type of Allie either. There's more than one way to spell that name. Alina would specifically shorten to... Allie with an I. And no, I'm not making this up. There's at least one other person out there on the internet who thinks Allie can be short for Alina. So why not? Maybe this is all about Allie. The next question is what is going on over here on the right? It's kind of a weird mass or blob. Even stranger, when you look at it as a whole, it resembles an hourglass. Just look. That's pretty good alignment, but what does it mean? How would an hourglass have anything to do with this? Now, if you remember your human anatomy right, you may recall people, and by people I mean women, have curves. It can be summarized in what scientists refer to as the ideal hourglass shape. Ah, yes. Always trust science. We'll have to test this. Could this be a woman, perhaps in an orange bikini? Could it even be Allie in an orange bikini? Like some old magazine that had Allie on the cover and Johnny held on to it? This is the internet, so let's just go ahead and take a look. See, I knew it. Okay, here, cut the chick out. Now let's see if we can line it up. Hell yeah, perfect match. How about that? That there is a babe in an orange bikini. Confirmed. I mean this one, not that one. Well, okay, both. Just don't flatten those curves. So we know this is a chick in an orange bikini. This is probably swimming. What's the rest? So with swimming bikini, the words are probably beach stuff, right? Water, anything like that? So what if instead of Alina, there was more to the word? How about Catalina? Now Catalina is also a girl's name. I had a friend who named his daughter Catalina. But more importantly here, it is the name of an island off the coast of Southern California. Could this all be a connection? Well, what about the D and off? Is there anything we can come up with? We need a water or beach word that would end in D. Well, we're dealing with swimming, so how about swimmed? Wait a second, that's not right. That's not the past tense of swim, swam. There you go, but still doesn't make sense. Probably not that. There is sand, as in wipe the sand off. I suppose that makes sense, but I don't think that is something that would be on a magazine cover. Not that. Okay, one more guess. This looks like an old magazine, and if it was an old magazine, that means it was saved for a reason. Similar to how this swimsuit edition was saved. So what if the reason a character has kept this magazine for years is because of something tragic? What if the word we're looking at is drown? For a full headline of something like Fatal Swimming, a mother and daughter drowned off the coast of Catalina. That's just a basic guess, but let's go with it. If this is an old magazine about a woman who drowned, why in the world would Johnny hang on to it for years? The key is to remember Johnny isn't the only one who has clung to personal artifacts of significance. Is there anything else that may be important to him? I warned you there would be consequences. You busted the lock off my no. foot locker, you no. piece of no. shit! Ah! Knock it off! 
he busted the lock off his footlocker. Now, there are many fans out there, other accounts, all the podcasters, that think this was all a con, a setup for Johnny. Now, I already made a video on Crease about this. Whether or not he's lying about all this, it's worth checking out. But let's take another look. That's the footlocker. And this sure does look like a busted lock. But even more than the busted lock, look at the chain. Like, what the hell? Do you think it's strange Kreese has such a massive chain around his footlocker in addition to the lock? Don't you think Kreese would only put such a massive chain around this if what he was keeping inside was valuable? And by valuable, I mean extremely personal to him? Perhaps this footlocker is where he would have kept Johnny's trophy. And if he kept Johnny's trophy there, maybe he kept an old magazine. A magazine about his wife and perhaps daughter died in a tragic accident. I would put forward a theory that Kreese's wife died tragically while he was deployed in Vietnam. It adds to his backstory and would be a real mirror to Mr. Miyagi who went through a similar tragedy. I said before I think season 3 will be about how Kreese and Mr. Miyagi are different but same. They both experienced tragedy but their paths diverged on how they dealt with it. And by the way, if you check out the right live streams, you would know that Hayden Schlossberg has said John Kreese has the most tragic story in the entire Karate Kid universe. Or at least he implied it. Also keep in mind this recent tweet from John Hurwitz. Could this be what he was referring to? There is something there. So is this tease image from Cholo a look at an old magazine cover about a tragic incident from Kreese's past? We'll find out soon enough. Now it's possible there will be more season 3 images released in the coming few weeks. Uh, John Hurwitz sort of teased it in a recent Q&A. I may not be making videos on these. Like I said, there may not be a whole lot to talk about. So if you want to stay up to speed with everything, subscribe to this channel. But after you subscribe to this channel, watch Party 1 on Instagram and Twitter. I will put out whatever I have to say on any images. Also, feel free to share your own theories or say hi or whatever. It's all cool. If you haven't checked out my other Season 3 videos and all the Season 2 videos, there's still plenty of time. Check them all out. Subscribe to the channel. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you again very soon. Do with that what you will, right? Uh, obviously I wanted to choose one that was hard and also, you know, not, yep, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see.